So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to load a Bamboo Lab filament uh, refill spool onto an old spool that you have laying around. So the reason you might want to do this is because the refill spools are a little bit less expensive than if you buy a full new spool, uh, mainly because you're not paying for this plastic again. And it's, of course, also better for being environmentally friendly, not wasting so much plastic. And really quickly, here's a shameless plug for my 3D printed guitars. If this looks like something you might be interested in, check out some of my other videos on my channel and the links in the description below. Now back to the video. So the filament comes in these boxes. You can see here, this is Jade White. This is just a PLA basic, and it has some of the specs on the box. So once you removed it from the air sealed bag, um, we could take a look at this. So the first thing you wanna make sure, do not remove these. We're gonna remove these four sleeves in a different step, but you definitely don't wanna remove those. You'll see here, this is what the AMS will use to actually scan the spool so it knows what type of filament it is. And there's one on both sides of the reel. And then the other key thing you wanna look for is right here, you'll see that there's a little notch. And this is gonna be what we use to key it onto the spool. So that's another thing to keep in mind. So the first step, you're just gonna take the empty spool that you have. And if you take it and you rotate it like that, you can actually separate the two halves. So now we can take the new spool and again, I'm gonna line up that key. So now we could take the other half and I recommend just kind of setting it down, lightly spinning it until it finds kind of its home seating position. And then you can give it a little click. You'll feel it kind of pop and snap into place. And there you go, it's loaded on. Now that it's loaded on, we can go ahead and remove these stickers here. And there you go, just like that, we now have our filament loaded onto the spool and we're ready to put it into the AMS and start a print. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.